So my name is Ben de Wever. I work in uh, Shell's CCS capability team, um, where we support uh, projects globally in the world um, with project maturation, um, making sure that projects are feasible and that um, uh, we progress into real project development with, uh, with CO2 storage. The IPCC and the IEA have uh, clearly stated throughout the years and increasingly stressed throughout the years the fact that um, uh, CCS will be a crucial part of the energy transition going forward, um, mainly for the hard to abate sectors as the first primary um, pillar to that. But secondary and, and more and more we see that uh, direct air capture uh, will be part of the solution as we see the global carbon budget shrinking um, in context with the uh, Paris Agreement goals. The role of events like GET 2024 and other conferences I really see in bringing together different stakeholders from um, industry, academia, also the regulatory bodies that are playing a key role in, in making sure that energy transition can happen. Um, and having a platform to discuss between all these different stakeholders um, openly um, with focus on technical solutions, technical innovation um, and having also strategic uh, sessions like the dedicated sessions that we're planning for this conference. Um, so that is, that is a really critical role for CCS, but in a wider sense for the conference, also bringing together different uh, parts of different branches in the energy transition, uh, which allows for cross-fertilization. And I think the GET event in its past four um, uh, events has shown that that's really critical, um, that this cross-fertilization can take place um, and, and bringing together different people really um, stimulates the discussion, but also brings um, new opportunities, new ideas and uh, new newly upset uh, set up corporations between different stakeholders. So for the program for the CCS conference specifically, what we are trying to do um, is to create a red thread around the hubs. And the reason for that is um, that in Rotterdam, the place where the conference will be held, is actually where the hub strategy, which up to now has been an ID, um, very abstract, is actually getting uh, to take shape. Um, things are being built, first projects are coming off the ground, and we are going into a scale-up of the operation as a whole for CCS. And uh, with that in mind, we've tried to really shape the program around that hub strategy and how the North Sea will together with projects in Norway, in the UK, um, in the Netherlands, maybe in future also Denmark and other places, will shape a quite regional hub where a lot of the CO2 um, from different uh, customers will come together and will be stored in the subsurface. And for that, we're doing a few dedicated strategic sessions on the one hand, which are focusing on uh, how do hubs grow, what are uh, opportunities that Hubs brings, what are some of the challenges. Um, and we also really encourage the um, people that are going to be submitting abstracts to bring their abstracts in that context of Hubs, um, namely things like uh, well, legacy well dealing, dealing um, also thinking about modeling strategy when different projects are sitting next to each other pressure competition that we will have between those projects and all those kinds of things, but also opportunities in the sense that can projects that are within a hub also synergize between their monitoring strategies, for instance. For key takeaways, for me, one of the principal elements is that people leaving the conference will have a good understanding of um, the what a hub is and how they can play their role in making these hubs uh, reality. Um, and secondary, I just hope that people leave the conference inspired and energized to keep on working, bringing CCS into the next uh, level. And um, having made a couple of notes in their network, 
um, identified business opportunities or ideas for new research um, and uh, uh, making projects uh, flourish. <laughs>